<laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Yeah, a big wow. A whale of an encounter right here. Uh, this is off Bowen Island in British Columbia. Uh, we say whale, but you know, orcas are technically part of the dolphin family. Long distance swimmer Debbie Collingwood was supposed to be swimming the English Channel this summer, but that was called off because of COVID-19. But she would have missed out if she was able to go. A pod of killer whales joining her on a three hour swim yesterday off the BC coast. She had some friends in kayaks nearby for safety. And after a few minutes, getting almost too close for comfort, the orcas swam on by. A little scary, but quite the lifetime experience. Lion poo, uh, supposedly from our customers for many, many years, they come to us and ask for lion poo. I always ask, what's that for? And I'm told it keeps cats away from the garden. And since then, we've learned also it keeps the animals away, away from the, the, the car where they eat all the electric cables. Therefore, um, a local garage has bought from us and they're very, very happy. We were not worried about the production because we have 26 lions and tigers here in Circus Krona. Um, at, but I must say, we didn't realize how successful it would be. So it could be a point where you have to order before. You're going to have to pardon the pun, but we want to share with you this stink and you'll miss it event in Toronto yesterday. If you're looking at the Toronto Zoo's famous corpse flower known for its short bloom and its sharp odor. The aroma has been compared to rotting flesh, hence the name. The, this one bloomed just yesterday and only for the second time. Now these flowers are typically only open for a matter of hours, so the zoo let visitors stay late to take in the sight and certainly the smell. A rare pleasure uh, if you're into that kind of thing.